Hello friends and collectors, as you can tell from the still photo, as well as what you are viewing in front of you, this video will be an unboxing and in-depth review of three Greenlight FDNY fire vehicles, FDNY of course, for the fire department of the city of New York. Now if you have not yet seen my video on my collection update of all of my FDNY fleet, all of my fire trucks, chief cars, uh, EMS vehicles. Take a look at the top right corner of your screen right now. I would encourage you to watch that video first before watching this one. So if you want to, go ahead and click on that video and then come back and watch this one. For the rest of you that are up to speed, let's go ahead and get started with a brief overview, and then we will open all of these and review them on the spin table. So first we'll take a look at which is a hobby exclusive. This is the Greenlight FDNY 1986 Chevrolet M1008. Looks like it has a little mini pump setup in the back. Again, we will look over this more in detail once we get it on the table. I did pick up all of these from Amazon.com. I got tired of going to my Meyer repeatedly only to find empty pegs for the last four or five months or so. Next up, part of the Dually Driver Series, Series 10. Crazy to know that they are already on Series 10 for the Dually Drivers. I remember when the series was just announced. Seems like it was just yesterday. At any rate, this is the 2018 Dodge Ram Dually Crane Truck in the colors and theme for the Fire Department of New York Plant Ops. For the back, this tells us the other models that are in Series 10, which I'll tell you real quick, 1969 Chevy C30 Dually Wrecker. Uh, that's in the Standard Oil Company Roadside Service 24-hour livery, 1972 C30 Dually Wrecker in the Goodyear Tire Testing Division. The 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD Dually in Waste Management Colors. That's been a popular release. This version. Then we have the 2018 Ram 3500 Service Bed in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Fire Management. And finally, 2020 Ram 3500 Tradesman Dually Flatbed in Construction Yellow. That one, if I can find for a reasonable price, I may consider adding to my collection. And finally, we have as a hobby exclusive, or excuse me, not as a hobby exclusive, as part of the Fire and Rescue Series, Series 3 for Fire and Rescue already, the 1996 Ford Bronco, obviously FDNY as well. The other ones in this series include, from the Lombard, Illinois Fire Department, the 1976 Ford Torino. From the Dallas Fire Department, the 1977 AMC Matador. From the Falston, North Carolina Community Volunteer Fire Department, the 79 Ford F-250 Brush Truck. Heading up north to New Haven, Connecticut's Fire Department, the 1987 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. This one, the New York City Official Fire Department FDNY 1996 Ford Bronco. And finally, heading out west to Bullhead City, Arizona, the 2020 Ram 2500 Tradesman. That's a brief overview of the car design and a look at all of the three vehicles. When we come back, we will begin with the 1986 Chevrolet M1008 on the spin table. All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking with me. As promised, we are taking a look at the 86 uh, M1008 Chevrolet first. Now, a little bit of information about the real Chevrolet M1008. These were military trucks that were used kind of as support vehicles, really a lot. They served the military quite well into the 80s and the early part of the 90s after their service life was over. Um, these CUVU vehicles, commercial utility something something, name escapes me. Uh, these were then sold off in government auctions and ended up, a lot of them ended up in police work uh, and as depicted in this case, uh, fire department services. Not sure because I have never personally seen one if any of them actually did end up in the FDMY fire department. So I'm not sure if this is based off of a real vehicle. But at any rate, taking it as face value for a scale model. Unfortunately, I will draw your attention to the left front fender, which is, again, I use the word unfortunate because there is really no other word to describe it and no excuse for it. Green light quality control fails me once again. It looks as though the left front fender 
uh, was damaged and hit on this truck. So I guess if you wanted to put this into service as a vehicle that's been beaten and battered around, perhaps battling some brush fires and such, maybe that's a, uh, a realistic look. Obviously, this isn't going to affect every single one of these, but it is a shame that I received one that looks rather horrible. The wheels are rubber. I do like the white hubs inside them. I do like the light bar on top. It is kind of to that era specifically. Speaking of era correct, you will notice the current FDNY stuff, particularly the two that you will see later on in this video. They have the alternating yellow, white, yellow striping that the FDNY currently uses. Back in the 80s, most of their trucks were all red with the FDNY badge on the side. So I do like that they didn't add a current FDNY paint scheme to this, but they gave it rather the error correct. So I got to give green light props for that. Also, I'll draw your attention to the hood. You can see the seam lines. It gives the impression or maybe gives you the idea that the hood pops open. Don't get excited. It doesn't pop open. It's just the way that the casting was designed. Likewise, the tailgate doesn't function, but at least we are given a hitch at the back. So if you wanted to use this to haul some of your FDNY trailers around, you could do that for that as well. Taking a look at the included accessories in the back, you can see that there is a hose reel, different lines going to it, uh, as well as some rear-mounted pumps in the back. I understand it might be a little bit hard to see, but it is there, and it is rather busy. There you go, there's a close-up shot. So overall, it is impressive to look at. It's just a shame that the left front fender looks as awful as it does. Okay, that's the M1008. When we come back, we'll take a look at the 1996 Ford Bronco. Okay, this is the 1996 Ford Bronco. I'm going to call this a Chief's vehicle, even though it doesn't say Battalion, Assistant, whatever. Um district it doesn't have any chief's lettering on it whatsoever there are also there are some small details on here that i do like so we'll start with those if you look closely at both the rear and the front license plate you will notice that this is a 1996 ford bronco so as somebody that lived in new york state during the 1990s they have the correct time period license plate which was predominantly white with labor lady liberty in red on it Nice job, Greenlight, for getting that detail correct. Again, as far as decaling goes in the paint job, poor quality finish as well on here with chipping on the side. And it's really annoying. I don't know what else to say about it. We do have a clear light bar on top. Here's your Ford Bronco badge. As I mentioned in the M1008 video, now into the mid-1990s and the early part of the 2000s, obviously, the uh, current quote-unquote FDNY trade dress with the white over red with the alternating yellow and white stripes is present on this vehicle, which I do like. There is one other feature on here, which I do enjoy. It doesn't have a trailer hitch on the back, but you can take the cover off the bed and you can see a bench seat in the back as well. So potentially, if for whatever reason you maybe wanted to do this, it would be very unrealistic, but if you had some fire figures, you could put them up in the back on the bench seat if that is something you would like to do. Hubs, again, realistic to a 1996 Ford Bronco. Grill, very nicely done. Ford badge in the middle of it. No mirrors, which again, annoying. Uh, absolutely should have mirrors on quote-unquote premium die cast. Um, not necessarily die cast, that's 99 cents. But certainly when you're paying six, seven, eight dollars, absolutely the cat the casting should have mirrors. So maybe that's something that these companies can look into doing for further castings. All right, we're 66% done with this video. I've shown you the M1008. I've now shown you the 96 Bronco. We will take our final pause. When we come back, we will take a look at the 2018 crane truck. All right, everyone, we conclude the video by taking a look at the Dually Drivers 2018 Ram 3500 crane truck in FDNY livery. Specifically, they label it as the FDNY Plant Ops livery. You could realistically use this for a fleet maintenance vehicle, so if one of your bigger apparatus should happen to have a tire blowout or sustain any other sort of mechanical problem, 
you can pose this getting some service done while it's out protecting the city of New York on your layout or diorama. As for the casting, not a whole lot to say about it. Again, it is mostly a static model. The wheels do roll. No functionality with the small material handling crane, which would have been great had they told this to at least rotate out or maybe have one extending section so that you could rig up your own small winch and uh, line so that you could perhaps buy a green light SD series truck, remove the tires from it, and then have your own setup of it repairing or removing some tires from the back of this and then fixing your green light SD series truck. Never mind, we can let our imagination run wild. It is what it is. At least the paint and decaling for the most part is of a high quality on this with obviously some typical green light imperfections. You do have some diamond plated texturing on the service body. You can see that as well. Although the thick paint seems to obscure it just a bit. Just like the M1008, we do have a hitch on the back, so you could pull a flatbed trailer behind this if you wanted to, uh, perhaps mimicking some heavier pieces and uh, parts that would not fit in the back. That concludes my video on three recent Greenlight 164 scale FDNY support trucks. Gotta say, overall, was really hoping Greenlight would eventually get over this kind of quality control issue they've having that they, they have been having excuse me uh across the the hobby wide i know it's not just me it's a lot of collectors that have been really outspoken let's say and, and quite honestly justifiably so uh, i hope as maybe the world is starting to return to normal that maybe they can get on top of that because they were really starting to make a, a good name for themselves and i know a lot of people that have stopped collecting green light because every piece they would pick up there was something wrong with it or noticeable paint imperfections and uh, that's not something i want to see for green light i want to see them continue to take off and do well so uh if i were them i would be taking some serious notes and find a solution very very quickly Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you like any of these? Would you like to add them to your collection? And perhaps would you like to see these in any other fire department livery across the world? Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.